Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is a long overdue review really that I was meant to do a couple of months ago of the GPO 10x32 Passion ED, or let's reverse that, the Passion ED 10x42. Um, I reviewed um, prior to this the uh, 10x32, the 10x42 HD, and now we have the black on green 10x42. Uh, which in my opinion is a great great binoculars um, just to uh, have a look at the exterior real quick it has this beautiful rubber armor here uh, in green and then the inside bit is very soft material down here it's got beautiful focuser as well it's very very smooth as you can see there when I move it extremely smooth very smooth uh, lockable iodiopters here and what really stands out with these binoculars is their lightweight, uh, how ergonomically they're brilliant. They're fit in the hand like a glove. I can show you that, but hopefully I'm not going to drop it. So move this away. And there you go. That's what they look like in the hands. They're fairly compact, to be fair. For a 10 by 42, they've got quite short barrels, nicely recessed lenses, fully multi-coated ED glass. Yeah, brilliant optically. Uh, we will look through these in a moment, but I thought I'd just give you a little uh, tour around what these look like in the hands. They're really nice and small, very compact, very thin hinge as well, which makes them very comfortable. So let's um, put them back on this tripod, strap them in so they go nowhere, and then let's have a look through the eyepiece because uh, what really matters is uh, obviously after the build quality is how well the glass is and um, i think gpo in my opinion do fantastic glass for the money you cannot go wrong and you would have to probably to spend double the price three times um to get anything better if I think that sounds wrong. I don't think you can get really any better. Uh, it's not even justified because the glass is so good in this e in this ED, and in my opinion, they perform incredibly well in the UK in those cloudy, dull days uh, where there's no colour. It's all grey. These um, tend to give this golden image. Um, they really do uh, let the browns pop in. The red, brown and green do really pop. They've got a bit of a saturation into those colours, which makes everything pop, even on the dullest day in, um, in the UK. So without further ado, let's just have a quick look through. Uh, on my feed, uh, there's a starling there. I don't know if you can see it, hopefully. And if he stays there, we should be able to see him through the... Uh, through the eyepiece let's just get into focus i think we're completely out of focus in there so let me just refocus these binoculars and there you go beautiful see that starling let's go just center it uh, yeah it's just gone down let's follow him through there you can see we've got beautiful colors really nicely saturated popping the contrast is fantastic the sharpness is really top notch in these so you can see in the center and even to the edge almost to the last five percent that's when it really starts to blur out a little bit there's no drop off in brightness it continues throughout the field of view but really a very very impressive sweet spot uh, i think the image speaks for itself in there got a gold finch in there another one of my favorites very vibrant let's just try and zoom in a little bit more there you go beautiful let's zoom out again uh, and now we're back to the original zoom so it's 10 power and we're looking at just right over there there's my feeder let's go back in and there is that beautiful goldfinch nibbling away expensive sunflower heart uh, these seeds have become so costly recently uh, with this, you know, let's just center that. that. I'm not sure what that starling is doing over there. I think he's nibbling away on the rubbish. Um, not good. I've got to give, give that tray a clean, I think, fairly soon because they do like to poop on it quite a bit. So, 
let me just stop rumbling um, and just enjoy that starling whilst he sits there and do his bit. That's a bit better there. It's very difficult guys to do this handheld, you know, so I do apologize if uh, the quality isn't what you expect but this is handheld and this is the best I can do holding my phone my 11 Pro to the actual eyepiece tricky business but I do my best to show you what the image look like through the GPO Passion ED 10 by 42 oh and he's off um, I do have another target for my one to move a little bit over here just to show you what these greens look like there's a couple of house sparrows in here and i think we need to refocus that is slightly further away there you go oh, oops that's a bit better there you go but i don't know guys if you can see if the camera does this you're not going to adjust this or not but it really is things do really pop in this glass um it's just beautiful to look through you've got plenty of light uh great contrast between the whites and blacks and overall it's just a pleasure to look through this 10 by 42 let me just try and pan a little bit just to give you a bit more an idea how sharp these are i mean i don't know if on those leaves you can really see the fine details in there um so probably head back to the feeder because i think there's a bit of movement in there oops no oh mr starling is back there it is. And let's just refocus one more time there. And get that best sharp focus. There we go. I think that's, that's good. As it gets. Perhaps not. But anyway, I think let's move to a further away target. I'm going to probably pop this on a, a chimney or one of the... There's a chimney up there. And there's last tree there oh, i think it's a birch tree probably and yeah let's just take a look around uh, and see what things look like actually what we'll do is we will move the binoculars over here to the sun and then i'll point it towards that tree down there and just to show you how this binder would handle any glare any sort of light hitting the front lens. I think it's important for people to see that because I do know a lot of fellow birders that get very, very annoyed when they get glare creeping in, destroying the image quality and taking away that lovely contrast. So let's head over to the grass and see what we can do. All right. Uh, we have oh dear i nearly lost lost the binoculars and the tripod in there that would have been hilarious okay so i think what i'll do is actually uh well let's go for that chimney down there see what it looks like but let me just give me a, a chance to just refocus this and then we'll go from there okay, i think i've got Good focus there, and let's get back to the eyepiece. Let's have a look. Right, we have the sun pretty much hitting that lens on the left side, and this is clean image. I don't think um, there's no complaints here from my side. It's a very, very clean image, retaining all of its contrast and sharpness at the bottom, on the left, on the right. Um, I'm not seeing any chromatic aberration either. Uh, I found actually this binocular to handle chromatic aberration beautifully. Um, I don't think I've had any other 10 by 42s that can sort of compete with this one on glare, suppression and chromatic aberration. It really does an incredible job. I'm not sure what they've managed in the coating, but it suppresses it to a degree where it's, yeah, sometimes you, you see, you know, that chromatic aberration in binoculars um, twice the price of uh, the Passion ED so yeah it's, it's it's beautiful look at that sharpness on that chimney really really nice vibrant and that's what we're looking at guys 
just that one over there. I'd say about maybe 250 meters away. Um, let's take a, a maybe, well, let's head over to this tree over here. We've got a couple of crows sat on the branches there. So let's take a look at those guys, what they're doing. Okay, should be interesting. Oh, one of them just flew away. That's fine. There's one more sitting in there. So try and get him into sharp focus and then let's have a look. I think he's still sitting there. Where is he? Oh, there it is. There he is. Sitting right there. So let's just go down. Let's refocus. And there you go, guys. See, Mr. Oh no, actually, it's not a crow. That is a, I think it's a jackdaw. I think it's a jackdaw, yeah. One of those ones that say jack, 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 jack when they fly overhead. They do not stop jack, 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 jacking whilst they're flying. Um, yeah. I'm not sure I've got the complete 100% focus in there on it i'm just gonna try and refocus it a bit maybe not actually no it looks absolutely fine you can see the contrast there beautiful the black on that bird really is nice and clear you can see a lot of details um very very nice so we'll lock focus on it and there you go okay where's he gone Oh, he's hiding behind another tree, so... Okay. Well, anyway, you... saw how this binocular performed. I think it's fair to say that it's for the price. Um, you really can't go wrong with GPO. I've tested a few of the binoculars uh, recently, and they're all really really surprised me great build quality um, yeah just great looking bino um, overall they just look great um, I absolutely love this part here it's very soft but it's still grippy um, the focus wheel it really is a dream to use look at it it's so smooth beautiful I do like the um, black on, on green but if I'm being honest I prefer the sand on black that's my favorite and I've got that on um, coming soon um, to review in the 10 by 42 in the 8 by 42 actually got a couple of styling here just landed on the my fence if you can see them and a few chirpies in here house sparrows hiding in that tree um, but yeah no it's a beautiful evening here uh, usually it's a rubbish weather well, actually we had a bit of snow a few days ago and on and off today but then the sun came out, I thought I'll just, as promised uh, in the past couple of months ago, that I was going to review this. So hopefully um, this has helped you guys uh, make your mind up about potentially uh, buying the GPO instead of going for a Zeiss or a Lupoid or a Vortex. Um, this is a young company that is producing really nice quality glass for a fair price so it competes incredibly well um, if you do get a chance to uh, trial them please do because you'd be surprised how so ergonomic these binoculars are how, how great they feel in the hands and i think you'll uh, you'll love them i think anyone going for these uh, will not uh, be disappointed whatsoever anyway guys i hope that was helpful and if you do have any questions just uh, drop it in the comment below and i'll be more than happy to answer take care bye bye